Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you watched our Christmas morning special, you already saw this room, but I thought it would be fun to make a video walking through the process of transforming this space into a fun game room for the kids. This was our school room slash playroom and the kids really never went in here anymore. So we thought it was time to make this space into something that they would enjoy again. So I thought a game room would be perfect. I started by moving everything out and painting the room a dark grayish bluish color. I'll have the exact color listed below in the description box. But when I went to Lowe's and ordered this paint, I asked the worker to give me the cheapest paint that they had, and it was only $16 for the gallon. We have bought so much paint in our life, I had no idea that they had a $16 gallon option, and I was worried it might be really bad quality, but this gave really good coverage, and I couldn't believe it for how inexpensive it was. Moving on to the Skylander shelves, if you're not into Skylanders, you could skip this part, but it might give you some ideas for shelves you could make for any other gaming characters or maybe collections of items that you might have. Really anything that you might want to display in a game room, you could be really creative with that. But our kids are really into Skylanders still and they've always wanted to have a wall like the FGTV family. So Thomas got some MDF board. I believe that's what it is. If it's something else, I will have it listed right here and I'll also have it listed in the description below. But he got two boards for $10 each. So the total of these shelves was $20 and we cut them at four feet long. I will have again the exact measurements of how wide each of the shelves were and how big the back of the shelf was. Um, I will have that listed right here and again in the description below. But we have a small wall that we are working with so I figured I only wanted to have four shelves total. So I decided to blend two of the elements together. So we were able to have all eight of the elements besides the light and the dark element. Those were the only two that we didn't have. Um, they did end up getting those for Christmas so I think I do need to add one more shelf. But anyway I picked out eight colors of the 50 cent craft paint at Walmart to paint the different Skyliner elements and I started with the air and the water. I chose two different shades of blue for those and then I moved on to the fire and tech magic and earth and then the life and the undead so those were the colors that i blended together Now I'm just doing my best to paint on the elements. You could probably skip this part, but I knew my boys would love this if the actual element design was on each shelf. So all I did was I used the same color paint for each element, but added a little bit of white to each color so the element would pop.
To put the shelves together, Thomas used wood glue and then shot them together with a pin nail. Once the shelves were made, we found the space on the wall we wanted to put the bottom shelf. He uses pin nailer to secure this shelf to the wall. And then we continued this process, adding each shelf on top. I knew I wanted three posters hanging on the back wall and I searched and searched for posters at all kinds of stores. I could not find one single poster anywhere. So I found some images on Google and I had them printed at a local print shop and I had them printed at poster size. Each poster was about $10 to be printed and then I put them in these $10 poster frames from Walmart. Thomas put some screws in the walls to hang them up, but I also added some Velcro command strips to the back of each poster. So even if they get bumped, they're really secure and they can't fall down. These were some shelves that we already had in this room. So we just removed them when we painted the walls and then I wanted to find another spot to put them. I used them to place their Disney Infinity characters and then on the top shelf, I displayed their comics. And the last thing we did was hang some hooks up for them to display their costumes. Our kids love to dress up, so we thought it would be fun to add some hooks with their costumes to kind of fill in this blank wall. We knew we needed to add a light strip on the back of the TV. I feel like you can't have a game room unless your TV is glowing. It just gives a really fun vibe when the lights are out. I will have the light strip that we use listed in the description below. The Star Wars heads that are displayed above the TV, we've had those for years. I got them on Amazon. I will try to find them to link. Uh, but again, they were in our twins room for years and years. But now that we have this game room, we thought they'd be more fun displayed down here above the TV. And then the last thing Thomas did was added some of their lightsabers over to the left of their TV. I wanted to include us surprising the kids on Christmas morning with this room. It was such a fun surprise and their reaction is priceless. So I will add that clip in right here. So I do have one more thing. 
Okay. I have one more thing that's to all of you. All of you. Maybe a little less Elliot, but the three of you older. Okay. And it's in here. You guys, Ezra, this is where we play games now. Your new switch and the and the port we're gonna put up. Sammy, right look at this. You paint the oh, Frederick games. And Dad's gonna hang your PS5. Lego, it's on a Pokemon video game. Fortnite. Look, guys, and your new lightsabers will hang up right here. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. We'll hang all of them up right here, and we'll put your Star Wars sign up here, and then your PS5 is gonna hang on this wall. You guys, you see how the TV lights up? Oh, yeah. Look at the TVs lit up yeah. on the back. Dude, what's in that hill? Bye bye now. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.